Lesson 2, Principles of Refrigeration. Let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at a simple air conditioning system, R22, with a compressor, evaporator, condenser, and a fixed orifice metering device. These, uh, this illustration here is, represents what we're going to be looking at throughout the different commercial refrigeration courses. All right, let's start to get familiar here with it just a little bit. Uh, we have pressure gauges that are set throughout the system to show you pressure. And these the pressure gauges, both high and low side pressure gauges, have a the corresponding saturation temperature of the refrigerant. So uh, R22, if you looked at your PT chart at 69 PSIG, it's going to be at the saturation temperature is 40 degrees. Same thing if you looked at 278 PSIG on the PT chart, it's the saturation temperature is 125 degrees. Now remember that saturation temperature is and pressure is when you add or remove heat to the refrigerant, it's going to change state. So if you add heat to saturated refrigerant, it's going to change state from liquid to vapor and boil off. If you remove heat from saturated refrigerant, it is going to change state and it's going to condense back down from vapor into liquid. All right. So as we leave the compressor, we have 128 PSIG superheated high pressure high temperature gas 100% vapor now our our thermometer shows that we have 175 degree line set temperature right here now that doesn't correspond to what our gauge says at 125 degrees that's because this is superheated vapor it is not saturated it's not in a saturated state so we do this is normal to see a difference in in what your gauges tell you the pressure is and what a thermometer would tell you as if you had it attached to the outlet of the compressor so as we leave the compressor and the high pressure high temperature superheated vapor enters the condenser it'll start to condense at the beginning part of the condenser the part between the point it condenses and the point it enters the condenser it desuperheat so it's getting rid of sensible heat so it's getting rid of that 50 degrees difference between the 175 that it actually is and what it should be at uh, its saturation point so we do desuperheat at the beginning of the condenser and at a certain point in the condensing unit unit it reaches its saturation point and as as heat is removed it changes state from vapor to liquid and at that point, when it starts to change state from vapor to liquid, it's still at 278 PSIG, but now it is at its saturation temperature of 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So as, this, as the saturated refrigerant moves through the condenser, it begins to condense more and more. And at this point, it, for example, it could be 75% liquid and 25% vapor and it's still at its saturation point and it will travel through the condensing unit until it hits the point in the condensing unit where it is fully condensed meaning it's hundred percent liquid and there's no more vapor and it between the point that the cond condensing starts and that is and the point where the refrigerant is fully condensed is where all of the latent heat or the sh is shed from the refrigerant as it changes state from vapor to liquid. All right, so the fully condensed liquid is still in the condenser and at the tail end of the condenser, it continues to shed heat, but now it's shedding sensible heat. That's heat that can be measured. Latent heat is heat that causes something to change state. And in our case, refrigerant is changing state from vapor to liquid. Okay, so we are subcooling the refrigerant. It's, it's getting rid of sensible heat. And if you look at the thermometer at this point 
of the refrigeration diagram. It's 115 degrees Fahrenheit. The saturation temperature of the refrigerant is 125. So that indicates that we have subcooling of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So subcooling is the difference between the saturation temperature and the temperature measured at the outlet of the condenser. So 125 minus 115 is 10 degrees of subcooling. So we have now have a solid column of subcooled liquid, still high pressure, still high temperature, but it's subcooled entering the metering device.